The attack on a KU student last week is raising questions about campus safety. But investigator Russ Potosik found out it's not easy getting answers. Mark and Elizabeth, the problem we found is that many schools report their crimes in many different ways. The University of Kansas is one of many schools that keeps two sets of crime stats. It is confusing. I mean, I don't under, like I said, I don't understand why, um, how they get the different numbers. On KU's webpage, when you click on full listing of all offenses, it shows only 14 forcible sexual assaults over a three-year period. But this federal report, available at another KU link, identifies more. It makes me uncomfortable as a student. I don't want to be here late at night or early in the morning, but I have to be for studying purposes. In the federal Clary Act security report, KU reported 16 forcible sex offenses over the most recent three-year reporting period. That's two more than what appears on on the school's public safety report for the same years. We are addressing the spirit of Cleary by even identifying the fact that we have had an anonymous reports of rape and we are including that in our Cleary numbers. KU officials say the discrepancy is because the Clary Act requires schools to include cases where victims don't prosecute. KU's police report doesn't count those. We have had a couple of situations where uh, the victim wanted to tell us about the incident but did not want to report it as a crime. Pittsburgh State's website also reported fewer than the federal report. In contrast, Missouri State's website reported more sexual assaults than the Clary report. Campus reports we reviewed at Mizzou, UMKC, Missouri Western, Kansas State, and Northwest Missouri State matched the federal report. I do think it is confusing, and I think it is concerning. A 2009 investigation by the Center for Public Integrity found discrepancies nationwide and faulted universities for statistics that don't add up. Experts say most campus sexual assaults go unreported. It's a small percentage, usually less than 25% uh, actually report the actual incident because of, of safety issues. And the reports don't include victims who tell school therapists. Because of the nature of what they do, it's confidential and they want students to feel comfortable. The report found confusion remains over exactly which counselors are exempt and how universities tally each crime. That is very concerning because it is a a much larger issue than the numbers show. The report concludes reporting loopholes make the data almost meaningless. Campuses nationwide will update their reports in about one month. And if you go to NBCActionNews.com under Spotlight, you can find a link that we have so you can compare campus crimes on your campus. All right, very important. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah.